Welcome back to the Photoshop for Architecture students video series. Now we've edited out the toy plane flying through the sky in the previous three videos. Now what we're going to do is to copy and paste this plane into a scene so that it looks like the plane is doing a fly past. So in the first instance what I'm going to do is just to select the image from the background so that I can copy and paste it. Now I'm going to use my magic wand tool and I'll select the background so because the background is, is rather consistent making sure that I've included this little bit between the wings as well and then what I'm going to do is to reverse that selection so in the pull down application select inverse so now we have the plane selected now I'm going to zoom in a little bit through here just to see that selection now with the selection we can then refine the edges of that to pull it in a little bit from the edge to make sure that we don't get any of the blue so if we open up that refine edges palette you can see here the shift edge we can decrease that selection a little bit so that it becomes tighter to the edge of the plane so it's very subtle but you can see through here it's actually moved it a reasonable amount so I'm going to go control 0 to get to our extents and then control C to copy the plane now the destination file is in the resources under the Zellman Cowan building that's where we're going to put it now this is the School of Architecture at the University of Queensland and we're going to paste in the plane as it pretending it's actually doing a fly past of the school. So I'm going to paste the image in, control V, and there you can see the plane flying through the air there. You can see it's created a new layer, but first problem we can see is that the scale of the plane is kind of all wrong. Now recall that we can um, affect the way that we um, scale the images, if we scale this image down and then try and scale it back up again we will actually lose um, resolution. So before I actually start doing any scaling I'm going to right click on there and I'm going to um, convert this to a smart object. So I won't lose any resolution if I change and scale this. So I'm going to fix the scale first so I'm going to go to my edit, transform scale. Now you can see I've got my grab handles there. I'm going to then scale the plane so it's perhaps a bit more believable. Hit my move tool to accept that. Now I'm going to place that up the top through there. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to it's banking a little bit too hard to the right there so I'm going to transform that a bit through the perspective distortion. So what I can do is pull this up through oops, through here to flatten out the image a bit. Hit that place. Okay, so it's a bit flat of the image now, ever so subtly. And I'm going to do it so it's almost flying out of the edge of the page there. So I'm reasonably happy with where that is and we're going to come back in the next videos and start putting shadows and other effects to blend it in just that little bit more.